welcome back everybody. Billy's Wide World of Fishing. And uh, it is the second weekend, second Saturday of June 2021. Uh, sun's coming up, hit me in the eyes right about now. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Look at that. Hey, today a couple things. We are definitely bass fishing or you wouldn't be here. And number two, we're gonna do a quick tutorial on bass fishing on a canoe. The things you want to do and the things to avoid that you don't really need on a canoe for bass fishing. So stick with us. We're going to be on the water real soon. Uh, we're going to be going for the fourth weekend in a row with, uh, with the Wacky Rig. It's been absolutely killing it this spring. So why change up a good thing, right? Four inch little red Gary Yamamoto Wacky Worms on the rig. A two odd hook. So stay with us, we'll be on the water right here on Billy's Wide World of Fishing. All right guys, we're on the lake. Um, as promised, quick tutorial on the canoe, what to do, what not to do. So check it out real quick. So things you need, um, I like the rod holder, so definitely do the rod holder, add that. Thwart, I actually move the thwart towards the center of the boat. A new seat setup that's also moved towards the center of the boat to help the boat track better um, when the seat is too far towards the back of the boat, the, uh, the canoe kind of waddles a bit so uh it's always good to try to move that seat forward what you probably don't need on a canoe because you can't reach back here without tipping over <laughs> i mean you, you don't need rod holders back here you're just not going to be able to use them um, and i don't use the cleats either because i can't reach back there uh, it's good for the net setup um always plenty of carabiners and bungee everywhere so uh Bungee for your I mean, carabiner, for your tackle box also, right in front of you. And then uh, I always throw my, my weight in here too. Won't need it today because there's not a lot of wind. But, uh, and again, today we're going to be fishing wacky rig style. This has been doing so well for us. And then uh, a Texas rig also. So we should be in for a good day of fishing right here on the lake. Billy's Wild World of Fishing. Let's have at it. Okay, guys. This is a spectacular morning. Love when you got the fog coming off the water like that. Okay. Off we go. Check out how this wacky rig is doing here. Uh, good enough. Last time, right in front of us. I mean, I don't know if they're little panfish, but there's so many fish like in this area right in here. And I don't know if it's bass or what it is, but there's definitely fish right there, <laughs> right in front of us. There's a fish on already, first cast. <laughs> First cast. Little guy. Little guy. First cast of the day. I can't believe that. <laughs> Very first cast of the day. That's how you want to hook him. Right up to the top lip if you can, guys. First cast of the day. Oh, I think we got a 
take her, guys. I think we gotta take her. Yep, fish on. Oh, a better fish too, guys. Nice size fish. Nice size fish. Nice size fish. Nice size fish. All right. <laughs> Nice size fish. That's a three pounder right there, guys. Nice fish. That's the guy we were waiting for. That is the one we were waiting for. Right by the dock here. Right by the dock. Right by the dock. That's a good fish. That's a good size fish. Look at that. That's a nice three pounder right there, guys. Two and a half pounds, actually. Nice fish. There he is, guys. Nice two and a half, three pounder. Nice fish. Right here, Billy's Wire World of Fishing. Gotta love that. Uh, let's get a length on this guy. He is about 16 inches, guys. 16 inches. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get this guy back in the water. Let's get him back in the water. There you go, buddy. Adios. <laughs> Thanks for being a guest on Billy's Water World of Fishing. Love the rocks, I always like the rocks. Hey, there's a fish on. There's a fish on, guys. That's, a, oh, yeah, that's another bass. Boy, he's tugging us too, man. <laughs> He's giving us a tussle here. All right, he's giving us a fight. Oh, that's a big bass, guys. That's a good sized bass, wow. Oh, that's a good bass. I need to weigh that one up, I think. I think we might need to weigh that fish up, guys. We might need to weigh that fish up. That's a four, that feels like a four pounder. That's, that's three pounder. Nice though. Nice three pounder. Nice three pounder, guys. Nice three pounder, look at that. Wow, that's a great fish. Let's see how long that guy is. He's about 16 inches also. 16, 16 inches, probably a 20 pounder. <laughs> nice fish. Here we go, guys, there's that three pounder. We've been waiting for it today. Nice fish, right here again, Billy's Wild World of Fishing. Nice three pounder. That's why we're here, that's why you're here. Thanks for watching as always. All right, there we go guys, one last look at him. Said another nice three pounder in the boat. You ready to go? Yes, I am ready to go for a swim. Thank you for having me on Billy's Wide World of Fishing. <laughs> there we go.
much more this little Sanko has in it. It's all ripped up pretty good at this point. There's a fish on. There's a fish on, people. Oh, he's giving me a little tug, too. <laughs> That's a better fish. That's a better fish, guys. That might be the one I missed last week. Oh, boy, yeah. That's a good fish right there, guys. That's a better fish right there, guys. That looks like the one I missed last week. Actually, I missed him a couple weeks in a row. There he is. Another nice three pounder, guys. Nice fish. Nice fish. I missed him a couple times last week, the week before. We got him today, though. All right, guys. Here he is. That's the third three pounder today. So we are uh, getting the quality today. We're last week had a lot of small ones. This week, uh, a lot of good quality. Right here. Once again, you got it. Billy's Wide World of Fishing. All right, guys, one last look at that nice fish and a quick measurement. He's also coming in at like 16 inches. So nice fish again. Right here, guys. There he goes. Here you go, buddy. Off with you. <laughs> right into those lily pads over there where the birds are singing to us I didn't expect that. I did, but I didn't. Another, another little pounder, pound and a half. Pound and a half. Right here. Right here in Billy's Wild World of Fishing. All right, guys, not a bad fish. We'll take him, right? Little pounder, little pounder. Back in the water with him. All right. All happy. He is happy. There we go. Right on the pads. That's probably going to be a pickerel, I'm thinking, the way I'm... Whatever it is, it's a good fish. Bass. Oh, that's a big bass. That's a big mouth bass. 
that's a big mouth bass. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a big one. It's a big boy. That is a big boy. We did record it. Wasn't sure whether I was recording or not because I was getting ready to head in. Wow. That's a big bass right there, guys. That's a nice sized bass. Wow. On the wacky rig. Right through the lip. Right through the lip. And you know what was wild? Is that just a fast return, too? Like it was a quick. I was kind of jerking it through the water. That's a nice fish. Awesome, guys. Awesome fish. Let's see. Another just under 16 inches. Nice fish, guys. Another, th another two and a half, three pounder. Wow. I did not expect that. All right, guys, just another absolutely great day here on the lake. Uh, I think we had six bass in the boat, including three that were in the three pound range. So uh, some good quality today versus last week. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please follow, subscribe, and we'll see you next time right here on Billy's Wide World of Fishing.